Welcome back, Park City. There's a shot of Main Street. Lots going on here in Park City this weekend. And of course, we've got to be talking to In Magazine. They always like to come in on Fridays, and we love having them here. Oh, they're all here, and we're, we're fixing mics. Who knows what we're doing? <laughs> we don't know what's going on. We've got Ryan Painter and Amy Spencer here from In Magazine. And I told Ryan, He's not allowed to talk about movies until we talk about In Magazine first because we always get talking about these movies and then all of a sudden it's <gasps> In Magazine, we got to right. talk about it. Yes. So tell me about this week's edition. Well, this is our Halloween issue. But first, since we are talking about In Magazine, I just want to kind of go over what we do have every week. Okay. That we've got a really extensive calendar in here. So if you're looking for something <clears throat> to do, you're going to find any kind of concert or event. We have anything for families, anything for nightclubs. So. That's one of our big features. We've got a lot of band interviews, previews for, you know, what's, you know, theater performances. And so you do have stuff for families. Yeah, we do. People, I think, forget that you do. We do. I mean, we like people to know there's a nightlife in Salt Lake and in Park City and that, you know, you can find it all here, but we do have things like if you've got the kids and you need mm -hmm. to get out of the house. So, so theater, yeah. concerts, movies, well, food. Well, let me just say, a little you bit of everything. Up. I mean, there's some information in here. This it's is not perfect. just a couple yeah. pages. In Magazine is packed with, uh, with information about everything that's going on, really. Yeah, and every week we've got a restaurant featured. We do a little review, just kind of our take on it. And we do have a bar review, which is something really unique to us, you know. Mm -hmm. Because you've always wanted to check, to check out some bars. It's good and, for people to know. You know, yeah. Yeah. You've got to know that stuff. But to this week's issue, it's our Halloween issue. Of course, everybody you getting know. excited for Halloween. <laughs> Do you give good costume ideas? Because I Absolutely. have no idea what to be this year. I'm yes. Struggling. And that's why we did it so early, because you've got to plan. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, we have a Halloween issue right before Halloween, which is panic mode and then that's yeah. exactly what I do it's like last minute like I'm going through my closet like this could <laughs> be a costume. An outfit together <laughs> trying to become something I know so we've got a costume guide and we've kind of broken it down into categories like pop culture movies and political which we know there's gonna be a lot of Sarah Palin's uh -huh. out there and McCain's and even probably Hillary Clinton's so. A little bit of everything. You just never yeah. know what you're going to get. Yeah. But, you know, we've got, the, like I said, we've got the movies and stuff because we know Batman's big. and So maybe some Batman know. costumes, Ryan? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> you're the movie guy. I, Who I are you going to see? I am not going to be wearing a Batman costume <laughs> or a Joker costume this year. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think we're up here on Halloween, so, you know, I might have to come dressed up. Uh, I think you're going to have to as well. <laughs> we might not be able to recognize you, right? Uh, that would be the idea. <laughs> you never know with <laughs> Ryan. Know. He's always... Well, so lots going on in the Halloween edition. I think you guys are yes. very smart to bring it out early. Yes. I think that's very Absolutely. wise. People, you know, want to know what's going on. And, of course, yeah. you guys probably highlight a lot of the activities that will be going on for Halloween. We do. The haunted houses. You know, Utah is huge for haunted houses. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there's so much to see. So that's something we're going to do throughout the month. So you can get a review, like, every week and... You know, we check it out so that you can kind of like decide where you want to go. Have you been to all the haunted houses? I mean, which one's best? Not, which one's not all of them yet. We've been to Castle of Chaos, which is Where's great. That That's on 33rd South. We've got a review of okay. it in this issue. And next week we'll have Nightmare on 13th. That's then, always a good one. Yeah. So. That's always a good one. I think I've been to a haunted house every year since I was little. Yeah. I mean, every year. I'm a haunted house fan, so. Yeah, love them. Lots going up. Okay, so Ryan, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you your glorious <laughs> moment. We like to talk about movies. I mean, we've had two guys in here talking about it. Rocco, um, who did Flyboys, mm -hmm. and also Frank Normile, of course. Tell us a little bit about what's coming out and what you think is good. You know, uh, this week we've got Appaloosa, which is a, a western. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, a slow burner in that it, it, it's a, a character study. I mean, there is some gunfights, but it, it's mostly about the characters that are in it, and they're really kind of complex. Um, it's an Ed Harris film. Uh, you got mm -hmm. Viggo Mortensen from uh, Lord of the Rings in it. Uh, Renee like Zellweather, mm -hmm. um, who was probably the weakest link in the film, but um, it's it's uh, it's it's a great western. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, we've got uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist as well. Uh, if you kind of want a date movie, it's a great date movie. Um, you know, it's kind of a teenage. Nick and Nora. Movie. I mean, he's become big. I mean, I think Juno really in super bad. Yeah, yeah. Michael's really uh, he's 
really kind of become uh, the it for that kind mm -hmm. of geeky, everyday sort of... Uh, I'm curious to see how long he can do that, though. He's 20 years old, and it's amazing. He can yeah. still play yeah. this awkward teenager, <laughs> you know, and he does, a, he does a great job. He is yeah. awkward, though. I yeah. mean, the way he acts and the way he looks, he fits the part He's very hilarious. nicely. But yeah. yeah, it will be interesting to see how he, he moves. Appaloosa, I'm glad uh -huh. to hear that it was because the previews look good, but, you know, we all know trailers nowadays can be very misleading. Really but Viggo Mortensen... Last few movies. I mean, he's a great actor. Intense. Mm -hmm. Ed Harris the same. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you, it has the making. So it's good to know. And it, yeah, I, I. It's funny because uh, when you're, uh, you kind of get a feeling for certain films, and you go in and you're nervous that it's not going to be as good as you want right. it to be. Right. And and there is more often than not an actual letdown. Yep. Um, and so when you actually see something that more or less lives surprises up to the you in a good way, you're you're actually really thankful. Yeah. It's It's funny how many movies just don't quite make it. Um, uh, you know, Eagle Eye. It's a good action film, but there's nothing really new in it. Yeah. Um, you know, you can look at it and go, okay, this is this film, this film, and this film all thrown mm -hmm. together. And well, you're hard pressed to find anything new these days. The only hope is, like you said, you can be entertained and not let down because yeah. the trailer has misled you in some way, or you right. saw all the best parts in the trailer. Which is, so. and actually, that's that's how uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua is. If you've yeah. seen the trailer, you've seen everything good yeah. in the film. All um, right. Well, well there movies, you have movies, it. Movies, yeah. more movies in magazine. You can always pick up a copy. We're gonna wrap things up on the show right here with Amy and Ryan. We figured you guys are a good way to roll out for the weekend. Oh, great, yeah. So, catch a, uh, grab a copy of In Magazine. They've always got a lot going on in there, so they tell us what to do for the weekend. Right, That's Chris? right. So make sure you grab your copy. Have a great weekend. Stay dry. That means stay indoors. And Jen and I will see you back here again Monday morning. Have, Have a great good weekend. One.